Hi everyone, Brandon with Cornhole Ace here. Today I'm going to show you how to play Ghost Cornhole. I'm going to teach you how you can play by yourself, how you can play tandem style, crew cup style, and also compete against people online. But first I want to give a shout out to some new products here. So check out the Matthew Morton's Game Changers. Matthew Morton, he is a American Cornhole League professional. At the time of this video, he is one of the top cornhole players in the world. So you got the Alien bag spinner design, and it's the Game Changers from allcornhole.com. I'll post a link to these in the description. And then we also have the Cornhole Ace Airmail Box. It is, it is the world's first stackable and most affordable cornhole airmail box set ever created. Check these out as well. There'll be a link in the description. And while you're there, could you please give this video a thumbs up? And subscribe to our channel it would really help us out and allow us to make more videos like this in the future all right to play ghost cornhole with a single player you're gonna pick a ghost level 1 through 11 so for this particular example I'm gonna choose ghost level 7 per se now I'm gonna take four bags stand on the side of the board and I'm going to go ahead and throw all four bags down. As you can see here, I want to try to make all four bags into the hole. So in this case, I made two in and two on the board. So I got eight points. Now since I'm playing ghost level seven, it's calculated based off of I got eight points, the ghost got seven. So I ended up getting one point. So I come over here on my score tower. I'm throwing with red bags. Red is my score, blue is the ghost. So I got one point. So ghost level seven means that the ghost, every single round is going to get seven points regardless of what you throw. So you're always gonna wanna throw at least seven points per round so that you can actually get points. So let's say if I ended up only throwing four bags on the board, I would have only got four points. The ghost would have got seven. So the ghost would have made three points. So I come over here and give the ghost three points, right? And then I would come back down here, throw back for my next round. Let's say I ended up throwing all four bags in the hole. I got 12, the ghost got seven. So that's five more points. So then it would be six, three, and then so on. And you continue to play until the first person reaches, either you or the ghost is gonna reach 21 points first. So yes, the ghost can win. So if, if you never, if, if the ghost continues to score and reaches 21 points first, the ghost wins. And if you continue to score on the ghost and reach 21 points first, then you win. All right, and then so I, I hope you all understand that. Now there's also tandem ghost cornhole where it's you and another person. You are both on the same team and you are actually present together, you know, playing on the same team together. So in tandem, I, I would have two bags and my teammate would have two bags. Y'all decide whether or not you want to throw first and third or second and fourth. The second you decide whether or not you're throwing first or third or second and fourth, you must throw that way each round for the remainder of the game. So let's say I'm the first player and I decided to throw one and three. So I would step up. I would go ahead, throw my bag. My teammate would step up, throw their bag. I would step up, I'm throwing the third bag, which is actually my second bag, but it's throw number three. And then my partner comes and throws their second bag, which is the fourth and final throw for the round. So depending on whatever ghost level you're playing, so let's say you're playing ghost level seven again. If y'all ended up throwing, you know, two on the board and two in the hole, then y'all end up getting one point. Now in tandem, y'all would actually walk to the other side of the board and y'all would end up throwing back. 
And you all continue to do that until the end of the game where either your team gets 21 points or the ghost gets 21 points. All right, so that's tandem ghost cornhole. And then there's crew cup ghost cornhole where you actually have four people on the team. So it's very similar to tandem where it's, so I'm going to say I'm player one, player two, we're both on the same side, and then player three and player four are going to be on the opposite end of the court. After each round, I'm not going to walk over there, and they're not going to walk over here. We're going to remain in our positions throughout the entire game. So just as before, player one throws a bag, player two throws bag number two, player one throws bag number three, and player one throws bag number four. That's it for the round. You calculate your score against whatever ghost level y'all have chosen. Y'all stay here. Now on the other end, you got players three and four. Player three is gonna throw the first bag. Player four is gonna throw the second bag. Player three is gonna throw the third bag. And player four is gonna throw the fourth and final bag for the round. You, again, you calculate the score and uh, and you calculate it based off of whatever the ghost level is minus whatever points you made for the round. And you continue to do that until either your team gets 21 or the ghost gets 21. All right, so that's playing ghost cornhole by yourself, tandem style or crew cup style. Then you're able to play ghost cornhole online and you can actually play any one of these styles online as well. So when you play online, you're going to want a score tower like the one I have here. So you can actually get like a score tower that has clips or has um, like it's actually like a it, it's a real score tower where with physical numbers that you can change. But for me, I like to p post my phone here. So I got this phone tripod. It's actually a selfie stick too. It's got this remote and stuff if you wanted to take selfies and all that. <laughs> but anyways, I use it to hold my phone. I have a score tower app on my phone and I just launch it and I'm able to keep tally here. And it's important to do this because when you're live streaming online, when people come in at the middle of your feed, you know, they're going to be able to see what the score of the game is. So um, it's important to have one of these. If you want this particular selfie stick or phone tripod, it's going to be a link in the description. And I'll also post a link to the app that we use as well. It's actually a free app, and I'm sure there's better apps out there, but um, I just go with the free one. So I'm going to set this tripod up so that you want to set it up so that it doesn't block the um the view of the camera i mean people still want to see you know landing the bags on the board so that they can actually verify your score so make sure that you set the tripod or the score tower off to the side so it doesn't block the view so now that you're set up for online streaming with your tripod or score tower uh so you're going to play against somebody else who's going to stream their ghost cornhole game. So y'all are going to compete at the same level. So let's say y'all decide to compete at ghost cornhole level eight. So you're going to stream your entire ghost cornhole level eight start to finish. And you're going to come up with a final score. So let's say you end up beating the ghost 21 to 10, right? Well, your opponent is going to stream their entire game, and let's say that they end up beating the ghost 21 to 15. Now, to determine who won in that competition, it's all based off of point differential. So point differential is actually calculated as your score minus the ghost score. And yes, that point differential number can actually be a negative number if the ghost ends up winning. So for instance, 
in my game, I scored 21 to 10, right? So it's 21 minus 10. So I have an 11 point differential. Now, my opponent ended up beating the ghost 21 to 15. So 21 minus 15 equals 6. So I would end up winning because the player that has the highest point differential ends up winning. Since I have 11 and my opponent had 6, I have a higher point differential. Now, another example, let's say I end up losing to the ghost, uh, you know, 11 to 21. The ghost beat me 21 to 11. And my opponent ended up beating the ghost <clears throat> um, 21 to 20. <clears throat> so my point differential, since I scored 11 and the ghost scored 21, I would, it's 11 minus 21, so I have a point differential of negative 10. My opponent <clears throat> beat the ghost 21 to 20, so it's 21 minus 20 equals 1. So since 1 is greater than negative 10, then the opponent will win. Now there's also the case where, let's say I beat the ghost 21 to 15 and my opponent beat the ghost 21 to 15. Well, we have the exact same point differential of six, right? So in this case, you're going to have to redo everything all over again. You're gonna have to re either, there's two ways to do it. Some people like, like let's say you just completed ghost level eight well, your next stream would be doing, y'all would both be competing at ghost level nine. While others, they will want to see you redo ghost level eight again and see if y'all come up with a different point differential to determine who is the winner. So wherever you end up playing at online, always check the rules with your opponent or whatever platform you're playing on. Uh, there's there are several Facebook groups out there that govern um, online ghost cornhole play. I'll post a link in the description to some of those Facebook groups and some of the other places online uh, that you can play as well. So always be sure to read the description. The description, if anything changes since we posted this video, we're going to post those changes in the description. And uh, the links to all the products and everything we discussed in this video will also be in the description as well. So, uh, so when you're online streaming, tandem cornhole is the same way. It's just going to be you and your partner physically here facing off against two other people streaming themselves somewhere else. And same thing with Crew Cup Ghost Cornhole. It's four players here. Y'all are all on the team competing against the ghost, streaming and competing against four other players, competing against the ghost somewhere else, and the winners are, is all calculated based off of that point differential. All right, one last thing here. Let's say you're streaming your game and midway through your game your phone craps out, or for some reason the connection got interrupted and the streaming stopped. So it's very important that your entire game gets streamed throughout. So you'll have to check your feed or whatever portion of the live feed actually post it. And whatever the score was prior to the blackout or the interruption, when you start your live stream again, that is where you're gonna pick up. You're gonna have to pick up off of that same round where the video was actually interrupted. So let's say, let's say I was in the middle of a round. <clears throat> let's say I was in the middle of a round. I had already thrown two bags and the video crapped out. Well, when you start your live stream again, you're just gonna have to redo that round. You're gonna have to take those two bags back and start that round over. I mean, there's no way you can just go and just try to place the bags exactly how they were when the, when, the feed was interrupted so you re need to redo that that entire round so i think that's just very important to mention just in case y'all ever do experience a blackout 
or interruption and does happen. So you're just going to, again, have to redo the round you were doing and start off at the round with the points that happened prior to you starting that round. And you continue to play. Hopefully you don't have any more interruptions, but you need to make sure that you have um, the full complete game recorded when you're competing online. All right, now that we're set up for streaming online with our tripod and our phone app, I'm going to try Ghost Cornhole Level 8. Now, I got the Matthew Morden Red Game Changers here. So, I will be red on our score app. The Ghost is going to be blue, so you can follow the score there. My cameraman's going to be keeping track of the score. So, for the first two rounds here, I'm actually going to record this in real time. And then after the fourth round, we're going to speed things up, play some music, and you can just follow along by looking at the score on the app. All right, here we go. Ghost Cornhole, level eight. I'm going to begin this round by trying to throw all four bags into the hole. Let's see if I can do it. Short. Just going to try to push it. This is a push. that push no, hard push there we go all right so I got three in the hole so that's nine points and since I am playing ghost cornhole level eight the ghost always scores eight points per round so nine minus eight means that I get one point for the round so I'm gonna gather my four bags and I'm gonna start the next round by trying to throw these four bags back and trying to make them in the hole. Missed the push. Try to push that one in. All right, so I got three in the hole again. So nine minus eight means I get another point. So now it's two zero, I'm winning. Throw it back. Ooh, missed that lip. All right, so that's three on the board. So Eight minus three means that the ghost gets five. So now it's five two, the ghost is winning. So two in the hole, one on, it means seven. So eight minus seven means that the ghost gets one. So now it's six to two, the ghost is winning. Now we're just gonna speed things up here. I'm gonna continue playing. We're gonna play some music right here and let's see if I can beat the ghost. All right, let's go.
All right, there we go. I won. It was a sloppy game, but I did get the W. So in this case, my point differential for this game was 1 because it's my points 21 minus the ghost points of 20 equals 1. So if I were playing against somebody else who ended up beating the ghost 21 to 10, their point differential would be 21 minus 10 equals 11. So they, in this case, would end up beating me because their port differential is higher than mine because 11 is greater than 1. All right. So I hope you all understand how to play Ghost Cornhole now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And please subscribe to our channel. It will allow us to make videos like this in the future. And we would greatly appreciate it. Well, I hope you all enjoy playing Cornhole. And we'll catch you next time. Thank you.